Alright, so once you've disassembled your um, Rex cube, this is um, the two types of pieces you will need to cut using something like an X-Acto knife or a hand blade, hand saw, whatever you want to call it. I used a Dremel for my edge pieces, um, but there are lots of ways you can do it. But this part is just to show you um, where you need to cut these pieces and what the final result will look like. So the first thing I'll talk about are the edges. These are the large pieces that need to be cut. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. Hope that didn't spike the audio levels too much. Um, but you want to remove this whole like large tar top piece here. And so you want to cut it right here along the neck. Um, and if we flip it over, you can see it curves down and then it meets this um, neck piece here. And so you want to cut above here, around here, and everything above the blade will be removed. And so once you do that, it will look something like this. Obviously, you'll want to clean this up a little bit. I just rushed and cut this piece because I forgot, or not forgot, but for reasons. But anyways, yeah, this is what the final piece should look like. Uh, and you want to leave some of this neck on here because this is what the edge caps will connect to. But yeah, this is what it should look like. There are many ways you can cut them, but make sure you don't cut it completely clean off or you won't have um, a good place for the corner cap to connect to. Or the, sorry, edge cap. The second piece are these internals. I went ahead and split them. Some people say, leave them together. Some people like to split them. Personally, I like to split the, the internals into the three sections and cut them. So what we want to do is we want to cut this large triangle portion off of each piece and leave the base and this neck. So you want to cut here where it leaves this neck on the piece, this bottom piece, and this triangle comes off and it will look like this. The triangle piece comes off and the bottom piece that you want will look something like that, where you have the base and a decent amount of the neck still on it. And this is um, going to provide support. Don't worry if you mess up and cut a little bit more off the neck or completely off. It, your puzzle just might not be quite as stable, but otherwise will completely be fine. All right, so now it's time for the next section.